What is up everybody? It's your boy Blizzy with the Blizzy Mobile channel here. Making another video. It's the first time on camera. Don't get it confused. The video, I got a couple of videos that are uploading tonight, so they might be out of order, but this is the official first time that I'm on camera with something it's kind of completely off topic, the other video about the S22 Ultra. Um, what I wanted you guys to check out about this is one little thing that I'm noticing. Um, on the bottom of the bezels there, if you can see those two little notch looking things, it's kind of like it goes with, with these lines that curve over the glass and go... To the back side of the phone too and on the front on them bezels on the very front close to the edges of the glass you can see and then on the front of the phone you can see it um, on this side this side right here you can see that little it runs this this little seam that this little line that runs the length of the phone is where those are. But I'm not trying to freak out about it and make a big deal out of it. But I'd like to know what that is and why when you run your, your fingernail over it, it's got a little bit of a, a rough texture. I don't think it has anything in particular to do with um, the device in itself. But, let me tell you guys something. This thing right here is pretty, pretty freaking sweet. I went to work today on my 8 hour shift. Left the house with less than 60%. And I come back with, and I still had 20%. And I was listening to my music all night. Watching videos a little bit on my breaks. Um, the camera is, is amazing and, um, I urge you to go check out my 8K video that I shot just today with, um, some snow falling here in Maine and it's really nice and I can't wait to get out and do some more with it this weekend. It's late, late Friday night. I got off of work tonight and just wanted to drop a couple of videos and some things that were bothering me with the phone and things that I like about it 48 hours going into 72 it's a great great phone and I look forward to spending some more time learning this S Pen and how it works because it's been years since I rock note or uh, an S Pen and now I have now that I think about it two two phones that are S Pen capable, the, the Fold 3 and now the S22. So what I got this thing protected in is a Tech 21 drop silicone style case, very thick on the edges and it looks really nice on the phone and I'll show that to you. You'll slide it, slide it in here real quick and yeah, so the experience is nice and um, you know I got another little thing to talk about with quality and build build quality um, I don't quite understand some some companies out there and Google Google in particular right now um, when I was on the market looking into the fold and looking at a lot of different phones because there's a lot of good companies out there other than these mainstream uh, companies that we see and deal with all the time um, like Oppo or Huawei or there's there's other other uh, companies out there the um, OnePlus I really almost thought about getting into using one of their phones and then recently I see a really expensive expensive flagship device that they build I think the OnePlus 10 
the guy just snapped the top of it off and quality is just you can't you can take one of these i mean i'm a big guy i could probably take this and probably break it in half with some extreme pressure but i don't know um but google in particular you guys released the the pixel 6 and the pixel 6 pro and everyone that's bought that phone for the most part from what i've read online and the videos that i still see currently oh google pixel released another update how many updates do you have to release to fix firmware and security updates and just google like when you think google you think android you know what i mean everyone wants that pure google experience that's unfiltered no bloat bloatware and just clean no skin over it no mumbo jumbo just nice clean operating system and when you think the pixels you think that you're you know what i mean flagship style devices that maybe not carry such a high price but now they are carrying that high price and Wow, if I was a Pixel 6 owner and started hearing about the Pixel 7 already being almost out there, I would definitely, definitely be wanting to do something with that phone. Like, I don't know, hopefully if you bought that, those phones, the Pixel 6 and the Pro, you don't have any issues. But if you are one of the people that's had issues out of the gate, that's really unfortunate. It's like a lemon the lemon law, you know what I mean? You get three chances, four chances within the same small period of time and it doesn't get fixed. It, there's no resolution and Google just keeps stringing their, their people along telling them that they're going to give them another security update or whatever. That That isn't fair to me. But I'm not the one that has to use that and unfortunately... There's probably a lot of customers out there that want to get off of that device because of this. But, I don't know, let me know how you guys feel and what device you're using. And, you know, uh, what what would you like more in a, in a flagship device? Are you getting what you need out of yours? Um, you know, for a long time I thought that the... Um, the, the micro uh, SD storage was going to be a deal breaker for me for a long, long time. That's why I'm still I'm recording off of my wife's S20, my S20 Plus right now. Her S20 Plus still records and does beautiful pictures. It's done, th this, the S20 Plus shoots better pictures and photos than a lot of phones that have come out in the last couple months a year and it's 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 getting up there in age it's almost going on it, its second year uh of being out there on the market and it's the last phone with expandable storage so we're holding on to it but to be honest with you um on the s22 i got the 256 gigs because i got it on the promotion deal um for pre-orders and you know, that was that was a nice blessing to not have to have a base 128 gig. Um, thank you, T-Mobile, uh, for that. But um, the Pixel 7 is going to be coming out, and these people don't have a fix for the 6 and the 6 Pro. I know there's a lot of videos out there, and there's a couple of YouTube channels that... that um, create content for this phone all the time and it's it's like beating a dead horse i think by the time the seven comes out maybe the six will be good so i don't know but there's a lot of a lot of good devices out there oppo is another one that i would really consider i like their their folding device it's not quite there on the fold threes but level that is but it's getting there Anyways, I'm going to end the video on this note. Whatever it is that you're using to help you get by, 
and to make your life easier, just remember that um, in this world, there's a lot of things going on and there's a lot of people going through a lot of different stuff. Right now, we're going through a, a pretty huge global crisis with sickness and war now. God bless everyone in the Ukraine and I I really hope that it comes to a halt fast and a lot of people don't have to be hurt but you know the the powers of this world can't get enough of it so the, they're going to do what they're going to do but I hope that everyone stays safe and blessed and we're having a lot of snow here so uh, pray for us to have uh, safe travels in this world. You guys stay safe. Please comment, subscribe, rate, share my videos. And if they are good for you, then maybe they're good for other people. And uh, I'm just a normal guy, everyday working guy that likes tech and phones and Android and Samsung and Google and Pixels and all of that stuff. So when you get it from me, it's just cut and simple, plain and that's what you get. But you guys have a wonderful one. Check it down there for the, the subscribe. Peace.